Okay, we are about ready. Let me go ahead and swap it over. Seem everything seems fine on that end. Let me go ahead and get my make sure my phone's working. Oh, uh, I forgot to turn off my laptop volume or monitor volume. There it is. Okay. Actually, while I'm here. Uh, the brighter backlight. Let's try that. I'm adjusting the brightness on my monitor just a little bit. There we go. So, uh, now that I've messed around with that for a little bit, let's see if I can have a better time uh, seeing what I'm doing on the main monitor. We're going online. Let's see how this goes. Okay. So, uh, last time we did some running around. Uh, I both, well, I didn't really make too much progress, but I did get to floor three on this altar. I'm at the boss on that one, the fire wolf, but wasn't really able to do much with that. Uh, I stopped because I was low on potions. I made it to... There's like a church over... What? Oh, right. Okay. There's like a church uh, somewhere over here when I was exploring where there's a, like a female wo uh, wolf person that I have to fight. So... Those are kind of the main options. I can still go over here. I can still go into that old town. Uh, so I have options. But now that I am online, let me see how this goes. I was told to input this. Three M's FPK. Okay, let's see how this goes. I, it, I hope this is right. Let's take a look of what, what this is basically about. Okay. Activate that. Nothing there. <coughs> so I am told this one is great for grinding. And we'll see how it is. Let's explore this dungeon for a little bit. See how it goes. There's the boss. Let's go this way. There's treasure. Let's 
no enemies. That's weird. Cocktails. Bullets. Blood vial. Why do I only have like one HP? Ritual blood. Why do I only have one HP? Or 11, I should say. I guess. Is that a part of the dungeon? I hope it probably is. Let's go in here. What do we got? Is there seriously like no enemies in here? Hey, Sindor, how's it going? Currently uh, exploring a chalice dungeon that I was told to explore, and there doesn't seem to be any enemies here. I was told it was a good grinding spot. Ooh, treasure. Ritual of blood. I, I think that's the reason. Just get a few bits of uh, ritual blood for this good gr uh, crafting material, I guess, or something. No, wait, what ritual blood is money, right? No. Okay. No, I think I was right the first time. Oh no, I, it's more for ch it's for more chalices. Yeah, I'm aware. I, I'm aware. I remember. I just typically uh, try to go by the usernames most of the time. Well, yeah. How you been? First time you've uh, popped in here. Probably just now had the time. I'm assuming you've played Bloodborne before. Or just any Souls game. Quick server bullets. It is surprising that there's no enemies in this dungeon. And there's gotta be one somewhere. Not, I guess not counting the boss. More coins. There's one. And I'm dying immediately. I mean, when my HP is at like 11, of course I'm gonna die in one hit. But there's like no enemies, so... It's easy. At least it's easy to get back to him. Your schedule will change. Start at 2, so you won't be... Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's nice uh, that at least for a little bit you can pop in and chat. Okay. Um, well, I lost my stuff. I I can attempt to get it back. Is that okay? Let's see. I, I guess I'm just going back and fight fight that one guy. Did I just end up back in the dead end? Yeah, I think I did. I'll try using my hammer. It will probably work. Maybe. Although he has good reach too. I'm going to go this way. I'm getting a little long. Oh, no, wait. No, this was a dead end, too. Yeah, I need to get up there. My bad. I'm getting a little turned around. Where is the door? Ah, there it was. My B. No? Wait. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. Take a second. Let me look. That's the way back to the entrance. There's the staircase. Okay. I forgot about that. Yeah, so uh, right now is Bloodborne four days a week, but uh, it's level one run Kingdom Hearts 2 on Wednesdays. I wasn't really able to finish it 
but I wanted to start Bloodborne while it was still October. I'm near the end. Very close, but there's a... There's a few, uh... Strong uh, enemies that I need to fight. That kind of worked. I mean, all that matters is I if I flip the switch. I don't need to kill him. Well, I tried. If I flip the switch, that's all that matters. But yeah, uh, I don't think I've gone too far here. But I'm I'm learning as I go. Wait, is my okay? It is working. Okay, good. Sometimes the PNG kind of crashes, but you know, is what it is. All right, I should be able to go grab my stuff back, but then I can go back that way. But yeah, what what have you been up to lately? Up the staircase, grab my stuff, and then turn around, head back to the boss. Yeah, I, I don't care about the. Wait, d does he have my stuff? Oh, he. Ha of course, he has my stuff this time. Why wouldn't he? And I don't know how uh, the bullets aren't strong enough. I don't have a good way to deal with them. Never mind. I thought my stuff was just going to be on the floor on a pile of blood. Like last time. What the? Where is it? Why am I constantly getting turned around? It is... This way. But not much? Eh, it is what it is. Busy with life, I guess. This is where my life has been going, so... A few notes. That's the boss fight right there, but it looks like there's more to explore this way. Oh, hey, there's actual enemies. I was thinking this entire dungeon was going to have, like, no enemies. But with only one, with only a one-hit kill... This is just going to be my Kingdom Hearts 2 runs. So, uh, it's nothing new to me. <laughs> I now know what to expect. I'm going to grab my stuff. Beware of ambush, huh? Ugh. I tried dodging. It didn't take, but I ran out of stamina. Okay, so obviously this is a higher power level. I can't kill those guys in two hits. I need to play a little bit safer. And I don't even know if there's anything good over here. Okay, dodge. Yeah, you get over here. About three hits. That way I can dodge out of the way without losing all my stamina. Good. Let's take a look. Who's that guy? Don't you dare throw that at me. Don't. Don't. up Two. 
Yeah, get over here. Perfect. Let's see saw blades. There's a way down. There's one enemy over there. Oh, wait. Is that a gunman? Oh, please tell me that's not a gunman. Wait, he might just get himself killed. <laughs> yeah, keep, keep following me. It's going to work again, I swear. And, of course, he shot me. I mean, he did get in the way and die. I just now notice how much, uh, uh, like, blood echoes I was getting. I just now noticed that. So here, hold on, let me try this again. I probably only need to kill, like, a couple enemies and leave, and then I can level up. Never mind. <laughs> well, I lost my stuff again. This is kind of normal. This is normal for me. Well, then again, Kingdom Hearts 2 is about the same anyway. You die in one hit, one mistake, that's it. Restart. Do Hades Cup again. Oh, look, my stuff. All zero of it. Yeah, you get back here. You get over here. Back up. Perfect. Oh, I am just now seeing how much I'm getting for this one kill. Okay. Honestly, I could just kill the one guy and then leave. But I have to know... What's in here? Keeper of the old lords. Well, hi there. Okay. You know, when you die in one hit, this makes it way more scary. Hey, this one gets kind of staggered when I hit it. Doesn't take much. And there, I'm dead. I'm gonna see if I can gather my stuff. And if I can't, I'll just leave. That's what, kind of why you don't enjoy playing these games. I mean, like, for me, it's just learning patterns and then just executing it. That's why I don't really have much of an issue because most of the time it's kind of on me. I'm not usually cheap-shotted by most attacks. It's Well, sometimes I am, but that's most of the time when like, I'm against the wall or something. Is my stuff just right here? No, it's in the boss room. Alright, I'm just going to kill the one guy and then leave. Or not, you know, he just sneaks attacks me. I want at least a little bit of blood echoes before I leave. But no, Kingdom Hearts 2, when you're near the end of the game and you're doing like the last few ones, it's it's a one-hit KO against you for almost every attack. So it's just as difficult. But in both cases, it's kind of just pattern recognition. Figuring out like, oh, this this guy, this boss fight does this attack if I am this close or this far away. So I should either stay close or stay far away to manipulate what attack they're going to do. And then just put it all together. Damn it. I'm still going to get that one kill. I'm going to get that those blood echoes. If 
Hell, it was even... Uh, honestly, the game that kind of made me learn, like, pattern recognition recognition was, like, Mega Man Battle Network on the Game Boy Advance. Once I realized, oh, this uh, the enemy moves, like, two or three times, and then does this attack, and then it does the attacks in this order. Okay. I can, I can take advantage of that. Yeah, you get over here. Back up. There. Okay. Now I'll leave. I am way too weak for this area. But it is a good place to get... Uh, it is a good grinding spot. That is for sure. Just that one kill gives me a lot of EXP. Well, might as well level up with that. Uh, let, let's see what I want. I'm gonna go... Actually, we'll do this. Farewell, may you. Okay, if I... I should now be able to equip the repeating pistol. Weight less durability, but I also don't use my gun that often. More attack power. Okay. I didn't really get much out of there in terms of items, right? I really just got a lot of these. So that will be used later. Okay. So now that I know that I can level grind there, let's go ahead and try going... Oh, where do I want to go? I, th I could try that... The wolf boss. We'll try that. But yeah, at least that's a good level grinding spot if I want to just treat it as that. I may just not use that. I, I'll, maybe I'll try to use that as, you know, as little as possible. But having it available is very nice. Okay, so the wolf boss, the quickest way is straight ahead. And then part of it is just me being stubborn and be like, no, I can hit him before he can attack me and stagger him when that never works. One potion. Perfect. Do you drop anything? Nope. Okay. I want to go this way. Gotta get rid of the guy with the scythe. Oh, you're a four-hit KO. Okay. You, like, survived on, like, one HP. Okay, the giant's on the way, but there should be two masked men walking up. There you are. You get over here. Yes, I am over here, and you have the high ground. Don't worry. You have the advantage. Too bad for you. I could kill you by slashing your kneecaps. And we'll ignore the giant. I don't know if he noticed me. Perfect. And one more. Get out. What do you have? Potions? Perfect. Full health, full potions. 
extra potion with stamina recharge. I think I need the extended saw blade for more range. And let's give it a go. All right. You're going to use the wolf thing fist on me. Okay. Nope. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, maybe, maybe I need to heal again. One more. I tried dodging, it didn't take. Perfect. Man, why'd you get all glowy? Okay, let's use my item. I have a stamina recharge now. Okay. Heal up. I'll throw this. One more heal. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. What? What do you mean I missed? There we go. At least I got one in there. Lock on. There we go. Dodge. There we go. Maybe I want her to use that lunge attack. No, that not that one. That's not what I need. That one, that's what I want. Back away. Come on, do it again. Do it again. Oh, that's dumb. Okay. Try it again. Try it again. Of course I lost the lock on. She can't really seem to attack when she does that jump attack. So it's a easy way to get a full charge. Don't, oh, you're healing. Are you kidding me? Is there no way to stop that? I hope she cannot spam that. Maybe I can get another one. Perfect. Come on, jump at me. Do it. Maybe I could get a quick attack on there. No! Don't heal! Uh, there has to be a better way to stop that move. I wish she doesn't spam it that often. But we can't afford it. Good. 
Oh no, it was, it's a grab. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. That was basically instant kill. That went better than I thought. To be honest, I probably would have won if uh, she wasn't able to heal. Okay. Um, so you give me a, a potion with a stamina recharge. You give me a potion with... What, what's the benefit? Could, oh, a regen. Just a regen ability. That's nice. I think I need that more than the stamina. <coughs> okay. Uh, I can't go and buy po buy Molotovs. I don't know how much I have in storage. Um, could do a little bit of grinding to buy more, but honestly, I just kind of used them when I thought it was appropriate. I didn't really use it that much. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. But I could use the potions. Restock on potions. There's some creepers over here. Well, hi there. You're not doing anything. Please drop potions. Potions? No. Level up material. Oh, oops. Oh, oops. There we go. Get the battle royale going. What do you say? Remember lure. Yes, I know about luring. Get closer. Yeah. You always drop potions. I don't think I can sneak up. Not with the crows being there. Oh, you can't. Oh, I can one-hit KO these guys now? Perfect. More potions. I could use a little more, though. I'm gonna go ahead and... We'll fight the giants. They may drop potions. But I could also leave and just buy potions. Bullets? Yeah, you're all you're guaranteed bullets. You drop potions. I think I'm just I'm not gonna heal. I don't care if I lose my money. Go in and just fight you normally. No hit run. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care if I lose the money. I didn't really have much anyway. I'm just doing a potion run. And then after that, I'll probably just go straight to fight the boss again.
Actually, I want to check something. Okay, yeah, you can only hold one vial of blood at a time. Wasn't sure. That's very rude, sir. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I don't want to go to the boss yet. I need to go this way. I love how you can just slice just the dead body and get some of your health back. As long as it's still standing up, I guess. I guess you're getting some blood. Play carefully. Uh, we're gonna wait for you to attack me. Or, you know, just not even face me? There we go. Don't know what you're trying to do. Okay, level up material. Get over here. Oh, that was nice. Charge right into me. Perfect. All right, we're maxed on potions. I want to basically have a full heal, so we'll go back to Hunter's Dream, get the full health, and then we'll head to the boss. I'll probably still be getting hit along the way, but I want to make sure I at least start with full health. And you know what? I might as well use my money to buy cocktails, I guess. You know, get as many as I can buy. Uh, yeah, I could buy seven. And I think, yeah, there's some in storage. That, that works fine. Alright, let's go to the boss. Try that again. I would have won... If it wasn't for the healing. Or if I wouldn't have, I would have been very close. So maybe I should save the Molotovs for when she is healing and just throw a couple. That way I don't need to get too close. Because I don't really need the Molotovs any other time. Make sure that is on first. Actually, for now, we'll do this. Sir, that is very rude. Am I at full health or did I lose a little bit? No, I'm at full health. These people have no manners. No one has manners here. And, you know, this is just London, so it checks out. No one has manners in London. <laughs> <coughs> These guys are just very rude. He might have potions. I'm going to hold off. There's going to be two people here. 
Granted, they're wearing masks. I'm pretty sure these are... What was that game? We Happy Few. The people wearing the mask and forcing people to uh, have the Matrix pills. Wasn't that ga that game I'm thinking of? Okay, good. We got potions. More potions. Sweet. I never... Yeah, I never even played that game. I just kind of remembered the trailer. I don't even know if it's good. All right. Full health. Full potions. Potion ready to go. I think I need that extended. I'm pretty sure that game is more or less like a lack of a better term walking simulator maybe some dialogue choices are in there i don't know i know nothing about that game okay i dealt 221 right there with a full charge oh whoops there we go. How much damage will I deal with the hammer? Assuming I can pull it off. Okay, that's more damage. Going for it. I thought because she's a beast, I thought the saw blade would do more damage. Did not dodge correctly. Okay. No, you're not healing. That's fine. That's a lot of damage. Oh. Oh, the regen's done? Regen's done. Just now realizing that the regen didn't last that long. You gonna try that again? Honestly, I just hate how close they get because the camera just doesn't want to cooperate. This might work. Perfect. I could get another another one. Ah, uh, you didn't target me. That works. Maybe I can get one more. Uh, kind of. I, w I wasn't close enough. Okay, you're not healing. Now you're healing. Now I gotta stop this. Or reduce it as much as possible. No, that's not good enough. Uh, nope. Almost had it. If I was using the other weapon, I probably would have gotten a hit in there. And I'm done. I'm dead. Oh, wait. No, I'm not dead. I survived on one HP. Of course, she's healing again. God, there has to be a better way to stop that. Get another 
get in there. Wait, what are you? Oh, you tried to grab. Got backed into a wall. No, I can't get close. Oh, how come it stopped her this time? I don't I don't know why it worked that time, and I'm dead. I dealt way more damage with the hammer in a single hit. So to me, that's the better option. The strategy isn't bad, but she keeps healing. But the annoying part is there's that one attempt. There's that one attempt where she managed to... Uh, or I managed to stun her with the cocktail. What's the other weapons I'm using? Uh, I am using the saw blade and I have the Kirk hammer. Those are kind of my two that I'm using. But how's it going? It's been a while. Uh, I'm going to be restocking on potions again. Those are kind of the main weapons. I kind of just use the saw blade for general use. But then I use the... The hammer for the charge attack for big damage. Good weapon choices. Thank you. I have some others, but I haven't messed around with them. Can I approve my weapons at this point? Yes. Uh, my weapons right now are... Both of them are level 4. Maybe I can make one of them level 5, but I'm not sure. Maybe I can check that. Here in a minute. Doing a potion run. Come on, attack me. Okay, I have no clue what happened there. Oh, good. There we go. I stunned him. Potion? Yeah. It's just a matter of getting the boss's mechanics down. More or less, um... That's the thing, like, I feel like I could beat the boss, but it's a matter of... Because I could kind of figure out a good time to attack. It's when she decides to do, like, a, a jump lunge attack. Oh, I'll use a potion. I'm getting two more out of this. But the problem is, she kept healing herself. And that was the biggest problem right there, honestly. Okay, I will need to grab one more potion somewhere. Uh, I, th I could check a couple of extra enemies and see if they're going to drop. But there was one... One time I noticed when she was healing herself, I threw the cocktail at her, and it s seemed to stop the healing. But it only worked once, and I threw, like, eight of them in total. So I have no clue why she got stunned that time. Maybe that's when I need to use the gun to stagger. Also, I'm dumb. I barely use the gun when I probably should use it a lot more. you. Come on. Please drop the potion. Just usually hit the enemies. Yeah, I, I kind of forget about the gun and I just don't know when the best timing is most of the time. Uh, the guns are just parry weapons. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware of that. 
Uh, we'll try for potions. Wait. No. We won't try for potions. Let's just head back to Hunter's Dream. I'll probably get a potion on the way to the boss. There we go. I'll restock on cocktails. I'll see if I can upgrade my weapons any further. I don't know if I have enough... Uh, of the level 2 power-up material. Okay, what do we got? No, I can't. I mean, sure, why not? But I only have one twin bone. Or a tin blood. Twin blood! Can't speak. Uh... I think I'll just buy Molotovs with everything I have left. I only have nine. I can live with that. I can live with nine. Let's head back. Okay, I'm going to head to the boss again. I'm fine with the hammer. That's not that bad. The problem is how do I stop that healing? I think the next time she heals, I'm going to try using my gun and see if that will stop her. It's either that or I just need to run up and then just do a charge shot. Up, all the way. Ah, close enough. What'd I get? Yay, potions. But yeah, what games have you been playing lately? Have you, uh, I know you kind of jump around between games. So I, I don't know, like, every game you're working on. Are you still on Disgaea, or did you, you know, quote unquote, beat that game? The game's never done when you beat the game, though. Uh,. Potions. Okay. This guy is done. And you're playing four off stream. Very cool. And by done, you mean just the main campaign. Zelda 2, Wild Arms 2, and Y7? Like Yakuza 7? Or. Aren't you playing what, Like a Dragon? That is yeah, 7, isn't it? Yeah, uh, now I'm remembering uh, you're doing a Zelda ma marathon, right? Still need a potion. Probably going to need to do another one. Maybe I should have held off. Can't play games like a normal person. I learned. How so? What do you What do you mean? Please drop potions. Okay. I don't have max potions. It is what it is. You have to play every game in a franchise. I fully understand that. <laughs> and I'm also usually the person that will play them in release order. You know, you got to see the el uh, evolution of how, like, game mechanics, like, evolved over the years, you know? But, like, how many of those Zelda games have you played before? Or is it faster to say which ones you haven't played before? All right. Kirk Hammer. away. Got one 
hit in. Perfect. Come on, jump at me. Perfect. That's the move I'm looking for. That's a lot of damage. Oh, you must have had a defense buff during that. Or something. I did a couple quick hits there. She's just like, you're not going for a charge attack this time. I know what you're planning. Okay, I'm just going for one now. Oh my god, I couldn't stop it. Okay, uh, I need to try using the gun. See if that does anything. Come on! No, heal. Heal. Try it again. Oh, that was the grab. Okay. No, not yet. Oh wait, not the mouth top. I got used to the mouth. Come on, use... <sighs> I'm dumb. Wrong button. Okay, whatever. Is that enough time? I'm dead. Oh, wait. Okay. Every other one you gone less than an hour into. So Phantom Hour Phantom Hourglass is the only one you actually got to play through. That's an interesting choice. Actually, I'm kind of similar. Uh, while not the first Zelda game I personally played, it was the first one I owned myself. And got to play all the way through. I dabbled in like Ocarina, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess beforehand. But none of them, well, two of them I borrowed. One of them was a rental at the time. And restocking on potions. Get out of here. But yeah, I remember renting Twilight Princess, you know, when that game came out. The furthest I got was the Desert Temple before uh, having to return it. You've been in Phantom Hourglass like eight times? I I know I played it a few times over the years, but I haven't, I haven't touched that game in years. Like, I have a soft spot for it, but it also one of those games that doesn't hold up when you look back at it. Okay, 
so when it comes to the regular, like, the blood potion that I get, honestly, the regen one I get a little bit more use out of. I wasn't really getting... I wasn't really able to take advantage of the stamina one as much as I did this last time. At least the regen one will benefit me a little bit more, but it also just doesn't last that long. Come on. Yeah, I should be able to recharge, uh, resell all my potions. My princess is your first Zelda game. You really enjoyed it. Borrowed Ocarina of Time, but ran out of time to finish the game. Had to return to a friend. Ah, isn't that the worst? Uh, when I played Ocarina and Wind Waker for the first time, both of them were, you know, on the GameCube. Uh, it wasn't a case of I had to just return it to a friend. No, I just got, like, I got stuck on, like, certain areas of each of those games, and I'm like, I'm bored. I'm going to return it. I can't figure it out. I think in Ocarina, I got to the forest temple, and I got stuck. And, and I just couldn't figure it out, so I returned it. And then I think in Wind Waker, I even got less. Like, I got to, again, like, the, the forest temple. <laughs> the, like, the, the Deku Tree area. In Wind Waker, and then I got I couldn't figure it out, so I returned. I sent it back to a friend. Yeah, I didn't make it too far. Gonna buy some Molotovs, and then we'll head back. Have I won yet? No, I haven't. Hot corn dog. I have not won yet. Gonna restock on these. Uh, I only need. I at least only need two. Is there any more I want to buy? How many can I hold? Oh, I can hold ninety-nine. Sure. Spend all my money. Do I have... I do not. Yeah, Hot Corn Dog, we are now online and I have access to that... Uh, I have access to that uh, grinding chalice dungeon, basically, where the enemies take like 10 hits to kill for the weakest ones. But killing one of them could get me like two level ups, so... But yeah, I fought the wolf boss so far like two or three times. And I know I can do it. Like, I'm close. But the part of the problem is she keeps healing herself. I'm pretty sure I stunned her once with the Molotov cocktail, but it didn't work consistently. It only worked once out of like the eight times I threw one. So I don't know how I did it. So I, I, I need to figure out how to stop her from healing. Why did I die? Okay, whatever. Yes, exactly. That's the... That's the Chalice Dungeon I uh, opened up. So I do have access to it. There's like very little enemies. Enemies are strong, but killing one gives me like a level up or two. But for some reason, I only have like 11 HP. So one hit and I'm dead. So it's like, oh no. That's not good. No, I don't want to 
Lock onto the crow. Try to get some health back. Stand close to the entrance. I will get a. What? What do you mean? There was like no enemies. I don't know how you get that many echoes. I typed it in correctly. At least I think I did. I mean, I could go back and check here in a minute and see what you're talking about. But I also don't necessarily want to abuse it if I can. Because if what you said is true and I could get 80k, I could get a lot of levels out of that. And that would just be a little overkill. Uh, just stand near the entrance, and due to the way the dungeon works, all the enemies don't spawn properly until you open a door. They all die to something in the dungeon. There wasn't really anything in the dungeon. There was one area with saw blades, but it was only one area. Like, there was just nothing there. off after this boss I'll go back to that dungeon and uh, I'll take a look all right oh, I want my hammer Good. Doing good. No, I want you to lunge at me. That is not the move. No, not that one. see. Nope. I think I missed. Yeah, I missed. Doing okay. Half her health is gone. Nope. No. Why can't I freaking shoot my gun? Oh, is the Kirk hammer like something's not right? my opportunity for that one.
And I'm pretty... I, I must be. Uh, yeah, this is L2. Okay, I somehow stunned her. I don't know how I did it. Her camera doesn't allow me to use my gun. I guess it has to be the sword form then. Okay, I stunned her. No, none of that. Am I dead? Oh, come on. Okay. So, if I'm going to use the gun just to even see if it can even stun her, I'm going to have to swap to the sword, and then I can use my gun. But I don't even know if that will even stun her. There was a summon for the fight if I want to do that. Yeah, I, f I don't think I need the summon. That's the thing. I, I don't think I need it. I didn't use that many potions. I could probably just head straight there. Yes, coming now. There's got to be a drawback for getting these blood vials. There's got to be some sort of... Oh, wrong way. There's got to be some sort of drawback. Like, I feel like I don't need the assistance from, like, an extra hunter. I'm just confused on why sometimes I can stun her and other times I can't. That's new. Oh, right. I said I was going to check the chalice. Yeah, I said I was going to check the chalice. My bad. Let's go do that. Because I want, I want to see what you're talking about. Fire blood gems. I don't even know if I even had one. So far, no enemies really drop blood gems in this area. Okay, let me check this chalice you're talking about. Uh, I think... Okay, I'll just start from the beginning. I open the door so the glitch doesn't... Oh, there's a there was a glitch? I Okay, I wouldn't have known. Way too low. Okay. So. What you're saying is... Let me go back. Where's that 80k mentioned? I could just stand close to the entrance and I'll get close to 80k. Yeah, I don't fully understand what you're talking about. There's like no one here. 
the, the first lift able door. You mean this one? This one right here. I just don't see how there's any enemies. Look, there's n there's no enemies here. Like I'll show you. Okay, so that's the boss room or that's the way to the boss. That's the entrance. Let me go this way. There's another lift. Okay, I'll look. Oh, look, if I go this way, this is basically a dead end. There was just treasure. Nothing here. You gotta get, you gotta head out, Cinder. Yeah, I hope I could tell Miss Wolf Fang Fist to Wolf Fang F off. Yeah, I hope I could do that. Yeah, uh, do what you need to do. Hope you can stop by next time. Okay, so again, nothing in this room. I go into this room. This is a dead end. There's nothing here. No enemies. There's some treasure, but nothing here. And also, I'm at like 1 HP. Climb up the stairs. Again, still nothing. So if you look over the edge, we're in that uh, that first dead end room. Nothing here. And then once you go in here, there's this one enemy right here that I have trouble killing. I want to back away, so I want to make sure. Okay. Go back to the first spawn lamp. Okay. I'll head back. But yeah, there's like no enemies here, so that's what's throwing me off. No, it's this way. Okay, we're back at the entrance. Let me start back at the lamp. So here's the lamp. Move to the next room. Stay near the first door on the left. If it's not open, it should work. Well, I opened it. There's the problem. I opened it. And even if I did open it, there's nothing nearby. Like, even if it was closed, there's nothing here. The first spawn lamp. That's the first lamp. What's the difference? What do you mean the the spawn lamp? Isn't this a spawn lamp? I'm failing to understand. There are two lamps, right? Yeah, there's that one. What do you mean behind me? Turn back. That's these notes are confusing. When I first entered the dungeon, there's a room and a lamp. Go through the corridor, and there's a door you Okay. This is where I first spawn in. This is where I first spawn in. There's a room and a lamp. When you go through the corridor. Where there's a door to my left? I ne oh, I never saw this. 
I never saw that door. I never saw this door. Okay. Is this the one you're talking about? Just to double check. The starting lamp is there. The next lamp is over there. There's a door right here. Am I supposed to open this door? Because once I open it, that's it. Is there anything else around here? Okay, no, it's just the one door. Oh, yeah, nothing's happening. So, are you saying because I opened this door right here, I messed it up? Come back. Leaving, then come back to the dungeon? Oh, okay. I, I think I knew. I guess we could try that. Is there a way to reset the dungeon to start? back. Move forward. Then go straight to the door. So I can reset the dungeon. Maybe I need to do that. Because right now I'm standing near the door. Nothing's happening. And it's probably because that door is open, so more of the map is loaded. And nothing's happening. So I we'll try that. We'll try resetting the dungeon back to normal. Back to start. So it's, uh, I can explore more if I want, there should be, there was a couple enemies that I could kill and just killing one was strong enough. Like it allowed me to get a level up or two, but again, a one hit KO basically on me instead of going to a lamp go to the bottom and click rem okay remove chalice c u m m m f p k this is correct right i'm just triple checking i can see uh the message from Jefferson yesterday and this is exactly what he wrote okay I was just triple checking come on 
Let me do the thing. Okay. Okay, so door is reset. Stand next to this door. Yeah, I did not even see this door. I didn't even know this was here. I thought I explored everywhere, but I did not see this. Back from military school. Very nice, Lord Jefferson. I'm testing out this chalice dungeon. And I'm a little confused. Whoops. I'm told to just stand next to one of these doors. Yes, that one. I'm too close to the door. How close do I need to stand? Yeah, because I'm failing to understand how uh, this is supposed to be a grinding spot. It's probably obviously something behind the door, but I need to keep it closed, correct? I'm just going to stand here and wait a minute. First one on the left, by the left corner. If I don't see a health bar, okay, wait a minute. This is the entrance. First one on the left, by the left corner. If I don't see a health bar. So there's an enemy I can lock on to. Right? Why do I need to leave and come back? I mean, I'll do that. Yeah, I have reset the dungeon just now, so it's a fresh... It's fresh. It's a hard reset. I'll leave and come back anyway, but... Not the door, but the mural thing made out of wood on the left. Okay, let me take a look. You're not talking about this. Not the door, but the mule-like thing made out of wood on the left. That's not made of wood. Oh! There's... There's the health bar. Okay! I see what you're talking about. Found it. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Now I understand. Okay. So, now that I know about, like, how to actually do that grinding spot... Here's the tricky part. I don't 
really want to just abuse it all the time. But I like having it available. So I'm not sure how I should fully treat it. Like, I could just buy everything if I wanted to. Oh, right. I could just... Using Hunter runes on the paper. Once you buy, speed up before me. Hunter runes. Bumer Ash Bolt Hunter's Mark. Oh, are you talking about this? Because it just brings you back to your last. Uh... Sorry. Your last lamp. Bolt Hunter's Mark. Thank you. Yeah. So I could just, like, buy as many of these as I want. And it resets the dungeon, right? I could see why that would be faster. But I'm still not sure how much of that I should even abuse. I'll buy this stuff. I don't... Am I gonna... Well, I, I used it. I might as well just buy things. But... I don't have this. Blunderbust. Just to have it. I could just do that. Okay. First, you're going to use it to buy as many vials and bullets and stuff from the store, but not for levels. It's great for new test runs, but in first runs, I would usually dodge this type of stuff. I kind of agree. I kind of agree to that. I didn't use it for levels. I just don't know how much I want to abuse that. It's now an option, though. I think I'll just head back to the boss. Yeah, I guess I could just use it to basically just max out potions and stuff in storage. Or if you're a New Game Plus, then again, farming for gems is also profitable. Well, if... If you're on a new game plus or you're not on a first playthrough, then who cares? Do what you want. I'm just trying to, like, I don't want to, like, strip the game of, of its difficulty just by an easy grinding spot, if that makes sense. Before I found that out, I went through the dungeon kind of like normal, and I found one, one enemy and I killed it. It took me a little bit, but then I went back and got two level ups out of it, and that's the most I use that spot to level grind. Okay. Yeah, on a first playthrough, I just don't know how much I want to abuse it. I don't really want to strip away any sort of challenge. But another thing is, like, if I feel like I need to gain a level, right? I could either run around like normal, fight a few gap, fight a few guys until I get the experience, or I could just go into the level grind dungeon. Uh, and then grab one level. And then if I even want to, I could then die to lose all my stuff. That way I'm not tempted to abuse it. If that makes sense.
Even with buying out vials and bullets, I can only hold 20 max. Yeah, it just helps with uh, having to go back and, you know, fight enemies to get restocks. So I'm, I can tolerate that. It just saves time. In that case, it just saves time. I have less of an issue with maxing out my items. Fine. Use my potions. Get two back. I can I can live with that. Okay, so I know you weren't here. This is I've only I fought this boss a few times. I feel like I have a good understanding on how to beat this boss. However, it's when she tries to heal herself that becomes a problem. For level ups, you usually grind enemies. Right. Uh, there's something I want to check. Right, my new... New stuff. It what? No, I had these. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's just physical to defense that I need. I don't think she uses really anything else. I, I don't know if any of her attacks are considered blunt. But like you kind of pointed out before, honestly, min-maxing doesn't really change all that much. That'll probably work. Numbing mist? Is that an item? I don't have any. No, I don't have any. It's throwable. Yeah, I don't have numbing mist. It's not something I can buy. I didn't even know this was an item that was even available. So it's an item I can get, but I probably need to get it from an enemy drop, right? But so far, none of these enemies have it. So I probably would have to go to a completely different area, right? While you're while you're doing that. I'm going to try fighting this boss. I was able to stun her when she tried to heal. But it wasn't really consistent. I could grab my stuff, but... Like, I have an okay idea of how to beat her, or how to, you know, even just hit her. Come on. Out. Not what I was going for. in the right way. Okay. 
Of course I lost the lock on. I get the critical when I attack her face. Okay. I didn't know that. Now that I know. Yeah, I don't know how to stop this. I know I'm able to stop it. I'm just not sure fully how. And I should try the gun. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm sorry. Oh. I tried going to the gun, but I was pressing the wrong button. I didn't know that's where the crit move was. That makes things a little bit better. Oh, oh, another one? Perfect. One more? Get wrecked. Get out of here. Got a gold pendant. I knew I was able to. I just honestly figuring out the where the crit where to activate the crit really helped. Again, it was never a matter of if, it was a matter of when. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Go back to the first area of the game. Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and read what you guys said. Something you found outside Kinghurst Castle. It's an area I could go to now, but the boss there is a lot harder than this one. So show you one. Okay, whatever. Scratch everything. Uh, when she falls down, and I, it means I could stagger her and use the crit in the face. Yeah, and then I figured it out eventually. Uh, 
I felt like I tried using a charge heavy attack when she tried to heal and it didn't do anything. I saw it work a couple times when I threw the cocktail, but it wasn't consistent. The earliest I could get the mist is by sending the guy from the window to the clinic. If I go to the first lamp of the game, the sick room, turn around, run up the stairs. I have to talk to a character. Okay. See me. Yeah, if I could beat level Kingdom Hearts level one, you know, the first game, I could beat Bloodborne. <laughs> That's why I'm not getting that stressed. Be like, I've. I've beaten Sephiroth at level one. I can beat this. <laughs> okay, so you're saying I need to go to the first lamp. Or maybe I should have healed. Was this something I could have done at the very beginning? Talk to uh, this character and I just never turned around. Okay, so. No, so I couldn't have done that before. Oh, so as soon as the first time I go to Hunter's Dream, I could go back. Hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Yusefka's, okay. Oath. If they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness is beastly. They are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Tempted? Well, off you go then. Okay. So you're saying the first time I go to Hunter's Dream, which honestly was the first time I got to the wolf guy down there, I could go back and talk to... Uh, go to that door and get that clinic one. While I'm here, I'm gonna Welcome level up. Very well, madam. Let's see. I think I want to prioritize strength. And then I think it's about time to put another boost in stamina. Farewell, good hunter. It's probably good. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to here. And we'll go talk to that one guy and send him to the clinic. The one that's like saying, ah, oh, you're just saying a bunch of lies about the chapel. Anytime I send a person there, she'll give me two nummy miss when I talk to her. Oh, did I... I picked the wrong place. Oops. I kind of wish it gives me an option to fast travel to a different spot instead of having to go to Hunter's Dream. Yeah, Cathedral Ward. Okay, there we go. I kind of wish I didn't have to use the... Hunter's Dream as the middleman for just transporting between lamps.
Yeah, thanks for letting me know about the clinic. Honestly, I would have never found that one. It's the one thing you want in a remaster. Yeah, I agree. Just cut out the middleman, basically. I mean, there's still plenty of reasons to go to Hunter's Dream most of the time. Uh, the fastest... What's going on with you? Well, she's going insane. I guess that's it. Okay, so now I have a different question then. Since I could have gotten that clinic basically from the start, and I didn't know that, could either of these three have gone to the clinic instead? And if so, is there a difference? Because at this point, my decision was final. Uh, we'll worry about that later. The clinic will kill them. Really? Oh wait, the mask guys are not here. Okay, so I know the look. Okay, the little girl I know is just gonna die no matter what. But there's uh, the Lady of the Night. There's the. What are you doing? I closed this. No, I closed this. At least I thought I did. There's the Lady of the Night. There's the old woman that's going crazy right now. And then there's uh, the nun. Those three go to the church. So, if I sent, if I told them to go to the clinic, would they all just die? Or would they just be like, nah, I'm not going to go to the clinic? Um, it's a little bit different. There's like spores or something on his lantern. Or eyeballs, whatever that was. I turned up the brightness on my monitor, so I have a better chance. I have a better time seeing. Nope. Wait. No response. Okay. So in that case, it's just a bad ending then. Did I miss my chance? To talk to this guy? Because there's no response now. It is nighttime. Uh, do I basically have to wait for it to be... Well, not... Wait's not the right word. But do I have to make it daytime then? Or is, did I really just miss my chance? Stupid gunman. Alright. There was no one here, right? The only daytime I could get is one of the three endings. Okay, so I just straight up missed my chance. Okay. Help me. Please help. 
Okay. Oh, well. So they don't, it's never going to be daytime again unless I get a specific ending. So, okay, I missed my shot. I'm going to head back. The, gi are, the giants must just be asleep or something. All right, there was the one guy about the password, but I don't remember getting a password, unless that was in that cutscene. The woman is important, the man not so much. I mean, the man just goes to the clinic and dies based on what you're saying, so. But like, he won't even go to the clinic anyway. So nothing was lost, more or less. Potions? Bullets. That scythe stronger. That scythe is on fire. That's what that was. Okay. Let me heal. It was in the cutscene. Okay. I guess I wasn't paying full full attention. My bad. So I can go back that way. You did mention... Yeah, I do remember you mentioning about the password from the... From beating the boss. I remember that. Okay, that... No, not that way. Let me kill this guy. Oh, come, come on! There we go. I'm just getting my butt kicked. Fine, whatever. Oh, I'm, I got hit by frenzy, frenzy apparently. Fear the old blood. That's what it was. Okay. Well, besides, my other options are uh, going to that old town, going to... I'm just going to go take care of the password. Uh, fastest route is... No, we're just going to go this way. Go to the old town. Go to the place where the bagman captured me. Or we go to deliver this password. Oh, there's also the woods I ended up going. Where I got swarmed. Thought I pressed the dodge, but okay. good. I still don't know how to get up there. That's okay. Leave its Okay, 
so I believe it's down this way. Already dead. That's ominous. Okay. Let's explore this section, I guess. Oh, we're in the woods. Okay. This is just another entrance. I think this might be just a forbidden woods. I think this is a safer way there. Doesn't take much to get over here. Not much here. I, I mean, I see the one guy down there. Well, hi there. I see. Okay. What if I go up this way? Anything up here? Ooh, I could maybe power up something. Or that, that'll just go towards it. I'm gonna try to avoid him. Good of you. Potions. Pebbles. Took a little bit for him, like, he didn't even get stunned at all. Come on. Love house. Thank you. Alright, let me go back up. See what's this way. Wait. What was that? Oh, specters. Okay. That's fine. Nothing there. There are plenty of places for. My gunmen to hide. There you are. Oh, it's this guy. Well, I could get rid of him now. What'd you drop? Guaranteed potions. Well, he's the same type of enemy that was in the first area, right? He was like trapped in a he was like in a little corner, just minding his own business. Well, first area, not necessarily the clinic. I, I, ah, like I, I know the spot I'm thinking of. <laughs> but I'm not gonna run all the way back just to point it out. Okay, this was basically just a dead end. Let me head down here. I 
thought there was a lantern guy. Oh, over there. Okay. Ah, there you are. Let me guess. Does not open from this side. Antidote. Goes in storage. Oh, I didn't even see that. That's probably a perfect spot for one anyway. Bone marrow ash and cannon. Well, I don't have the cannon, but I do have some bone marrow ash. What does that do? Let me double check. Strengthens bullets. Okay. drop anything. Well, I'll be exploring the forest. We'll see if I find it. Oh, what do we got? Twin boom. Twin stuff. Okay. Oh, by the way, you know what's kind of scummy? So, uh, when I was setting up PlayStation Plus yesterday for this, uh, after I after I got it purchased, I wanted to make sure auto renewal was turned off, right? Because I didn't want it to accidentally renewal when I can't uh, afford it in a year, right? Or something like that. You know, I want to make sure, like, if I'm going to activate it again, I have to do it manually. Uh, the wording and the way they have it, it's so hidden and so, like, not worded co correctly that... Basically, Sony's just trying to make it really difficult for to turn off auto renewal. Like being serious here, like, uh, sorry, when uh, after I got the PlayStation Plus activated, I had to go into my settings and go into the list of my subscriptions, and then when I go in there, I have to choose uh, cancel subscription. I have to choose cancel subscription. And then from there. Uh, okay, whatever. Sorry. And then from there, you know, you have to basically confirm the cancel to subscription, which you got to be careful because if you, you fully cancel it, uh, you cancel PlayStation Plus and I think if it's early enough, you try to get a refund. But... You have to hit cancel subscription, and then it gives you a reason, and then you choose the uh, you choose the option that says yes, but I want to pay on my own or something. Basically, turn off auto renewal. It's so scummy. It really is. It is worded in such a way to where it's very hard to figure out that you can even turn off auto renewal. It is so scummy. the fine print it's like those mad com med commercials pretty much but it's not even just fine print it's worded in like the wrong way you, again you have to go under cancel subscription and then once you click on that there's two options where one is keep your subscription and the other is cancel your subscription so it makes you think that you're just going to try to cancel and get the refund but you, once you hit cancel subscription, you then have to choose the right drop down reasoning of why you're canceling. And then it basically like, oh no, I want to keep it. I just want to choose when to activate it again. Like that is, no, that is bad. I really don't like that. Because they want you to forget that you're even sub to PlayStation Plus. Oh, come on. Stop throwing oil. I know 
there's more enemies. Quicksilver. More Quicksilver. A vial. Twin. So if this area just more or less guarantees drops for the twin stuff, maybe not, maybe not guarantee, but I could get the twin power ups. I could start uh, more consistently get my weapons powered up to like five or six. What's up here? I hear something. Yeah, Sony grinds my gears. Yeah, Sony, honestly, like, I'm really not liking what they're doing lately. Like I said, I don't like their censorship practices. That whole canceling renewal was very scummy. There's probably other things involved, too, that is just blanking out of my mind right now. Beast pellet. And by the way, uh, you know, we were talking Game Pass versus PlayStation Plus. Uh, I th So there are other PlayStation Plus plans, but I think if you want to get the three games per month, it's three games from what I understand, you have to go to the second tier plan and I believe that's 120 a year. I believe. Although I think if you have PlayStation Plus, you get discounts no matter what. When you're purchasing digital games, I think. I'm not sure. But I think you need to go to the second tier to get the three free games. And that's, I think, 120. And that was a pit. And then, not only that, there's a third tier above that. And with that tier, apparently you get access to basically games pre-PS4. So PS1, 2, and I believe PS3 games. And that's like 150. So not worth it. So not worth it at all. There's a lot of free digital games in the library. They call me the cup because my... They call me the cup. Because my father's the drink. I saw that thing. I, I saw the thing, corndog. It's, it's a thing that exists. I don't understand it. To me, it's just a, 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 a thing that exists. They also have a monthly rotational games. Yeah, that's the the three games per month, I believe. Uh, oh, let's see. Regular PS Plus. Yeah, three games a month. Five at the second tier. And the game catalog in tier three. And that game catalog is a bunch of old games, like PS1, 2, and maybe 3 games. And by the way, thanks for the gifted sub to Pikachu, Lord Jefferson. You pay 120 but they have Bloodborne and Ghost of K uh, Bloodborne and Ghost of Tsushima uh, there. Uh, I'd rather just buy Blood Bloodborne for twenty bucks physically, or buy Ghost of Tsushima like probably also twenty bucks physically, than pay one hundred and twenty dollars per year to not own the games. I'm assuming that's how it works. They have a lot more than just old games. Okay, I wasn't sure, but either way, it's like $150, and to me, I, I think it's a ripoff. Especially especially when you compare it to uh, Game Pass. Waiting for things like Liza P. 
or Rise of Pi. Uh, I feel like I recognize that one. I recognize the name, but I'm like having trouble picturing like the gameplay of it. Oh, there they are. Is this okay? You paid 70, 70 bucks for one game and that stuff adds up? Yes, if you get it at launch. Never played it, I like to. Right. I can see the benefit for, like, if you want to just try out a bunch of games and be like, oh, I'm going to try this out. Oh, do I like it? I'm going to get a copy later. I'm going to try this game out. And, you know, just keep doing that. And if, it, if there's a game you're like, eh, it was okay, but I'm not going to own it, then I guess that's what it's for, but... But again, if you get games at launch, sure, yeah, it's like 70, 70 bucks. But from what I've noticed, at least with physical, physical games for play, for Sony, and I'll give this uh, a props to Sony versus Nintendo. <laughs> uh, okay, I should have, I should have realized that. Okay, I'll give some props to Sony here, at the very least. Sony games, physical, at least physical games, get discounted all the time. Like, you don't have to wait too long for a physical game to go down to like 20, 30 bucks. Like, maybe a year or two, and it'll drop down in price. Again, I paid 20 bucks for this physical copy of Bloodborne. Obviously, that's not counting the DLC with it. I still need to pick that up. I'll probably take care of that soon. But still, if you combine, if you combine it, ah, dang it! Keep forgetting he can swipe like two times. Um, even if you, you know, twenty bucks DLC, twenty bucks physical game. That's, you're still saving 30 bucks for buying a brand new game, plus buying the DLC that comes by later, so you're probably saving even more money. Let me clear out some of these enemies and I'll re uh, read some of the chat that I missed. Get rid of you. Okay. What did I miss? Uh, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4 is free to to stream if I want. But I still have to purchase the games. I know... Isn't 1 and 2, like, free? Oh, no. I'm, I'm confusing that with uh, Elder Scrolls. But I know they're very cheap on Steam. At least the first couple. With the pass, not really 3. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, waiting for the DLC for Life of P. Life of Pi. It was a fun game. Maybe I need to look into that. You pay 70 bucks for one game and stuff adds up. Never replayed it, but I like to. Maybe when the DLC comes out. Wait, never mind. Sorry. When the DLC comes out, it'll pop up on PlayStation Plus. Will, D will DLC for games go on PlayStation Plus? Or just be in delete? Right. You want Dark Souls 2 remastered? Right. On Game Pass, you could get the whole series. Oh, that's kind of cool. I get, you also just got to consider, like, oh, right. What game, what type of games you tend to play and how long each of those games take. And also, like, how much you, like, play the PlayStation versus other stuff. The base game will pop up. To entice people to play, and then you have to buy the DLC. Okay, that makes sense. But that's the thing. If you play a game through PlayStation Plus, you don't own that game, correct? If you lose... Oh, are you kidding me? If you lose PlayStation Plus, you still lose the game. So you either have to then purchase the game digitally... Or physically, and you still have the. I'm assuming you'll still have the DLC 
logged in onto your account basically uh or you have to renew playstation plus again If access it for as long as it's available, your save data is still there, but you're right, you keep your save. Usually by the time it happens, you're typically done with that game. That is true. That is true. But uh, there's still the problem of you could just end up. Uh... <sighs> yeah, sorry. I don't know. And, and, and like I pointed out, like, Sony games just go on sale all the time. Like, whenever I end up checking out, like, the Sony games, and, like, I barely go to the stores. But when I do, I, I see them on sale all the time at discounted prices. Assuming it's not, like, a newly released one. So yeah, if you're willing to wait a little bit, you could get you could get games at a really good discounted price. Granted, you can't really do that with Nintendo games. Not really. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is still like 50 bucks. I love that game on the Wii U, but I did not want to buy I did not want to buy a brand new again when it barely adds anything. Fun game, though. Heavily recommend it. Okay. Uh, usually, by the time Same with borrowing it at the library, which I actually like doing as well. Uh, I... It's been so long since I've been to the local library. I don't even know if they have games there. I, I don't even know if it's even worth it for me. Uh, that's the GameStop mirroring caught on fire, so you can't go to that store. <laughs> Well, there's still one GameStop in my area. It's basically just a Think Geek anyway, so I don't even think they really sell games. Oh, I want to focus on getting rid of you. Uh, bear with me. Want to support GameStop, but they are so predatory. Yeah, I honestly, I can't remember the last time I've actually been into a GameStop and bought something. It's been so long. I'm actually trying to remember most of the games I've bought. Most games I buy recently, like physical games, I honestly just get on Amazon. I kind of feel like I need to level up soon and get some defense. You're already with PlayStation. Why would I want a second abusive relationship? It's very abusive. You gotta collect all the abusive relationships, hot corn dog. It's like Pokemon. You gotta collect them all. Going up here seems to be the way to go. Oh, I thought I killed you. Oh, there's a couple enemies.
Is it hot as in temperature or spicy? Yeah, that is a good question, hot corn dog. Or is it both? I never really thought about asking that. What do we got here? Temperature makes sense. I mean, who would want to eat a cold corn dog? A freak, that's who. Or attractiveness. <laughs> Didn't even think about it that way. Oh yes, that that corn dog makes me want to do things. It's very hot. And I'm gonna end it right there and not continue that that thought process. Kidding me? I'm getting swarmed. Okay, I see the problem here. Mmm, processed meat. It has all the additives. Okay, there was, I think I need to take a different route. Because I'm getting swarmed. Maybe I should change my stuff. Hold on. I'm dealing with a lot of fire. Honestly, that kind of sucks. Eh, honestly, I don't think it makes much of a difference. Yeah, you know what? We're probably okay. Sometimes because you remember. Sometimes you remember when Gwen kept calling you hot dog. Uh, keep forgetting the corn dog part. Corn dogs and hot dogs are not the same thing. They're only slightly the same thing. They're cousins. Get out of the wall! Oh my god. <laughs> can't get out of there. Honestly, that 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 was rigged. That was just rigged. He, he, that freaking enemy just caught me in the wall and just pinned me there. I couldn't do anything. And he doesn't stagger. Stupid. Okay. Get over here. Get over here. Get. Finally got out of the wall. Fine. That, was, that sucked, but okay. Maybe I could just... Yeah, I'm just gonna go this way. Just skip past them altogether. I don't care. This is a different route. Get out of there. Oh, by the way, I was looking at some of my PS4 games 
just to see if any of them had like multiplayer. I just took like a, a quick look at them. And uh, there is one game that I have that I actually didn't know it was online multiplayer. And it's uh, it was uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 2. You know, the Dragon Quest Warrior spinoff. Apparently that's online multiplayer. But not Dragon Quest Heroes 1. Not that one. No, no, no. That's not multiplayer. Yeah, how, yeah. it was just like the other day when you brought that up, Pikachu. It might have just been yesterday. You think he have Warriors 2? For Dragon Quest? I know that game's only like 20 bucks. Might even be cheaper. You know what? I'll take a quick look. Because now it's in my head. Oh, your copy's in Japanese. I see. Here, let me... I'm taking a quick look. It's in my head. Dragon... Uh, Heroes 2 specifically. Uh, Heroes 2. Uh, a new copy's 15 bucks. I used ones like somewhere between 11 and 12 bucks for a complete copy, quote unquote. Yeah, that's cheap to get. This is where I want to go. Let me check over here. Oh, there's a lantern there. Someone's here. Keeping my ear out. Silver. I don't believe that, but okay. But like a lamb to the right of its executor, and seek an ancient tribal shrine. The gift of the god face will grant you strength. Got what? Tonsil stone. Okay, hold on, what is that? Keep forgetting to use some of these items. Okay, it looks like it's a uh, something else. Which are we using rituals? Okay. A deformed rock. That's it. Okay. It's used for something else. I don't know what. Main cathedral. Um, is he taught? Oh, right. The descriptions. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, that was here. A lattice deformed rock, or perhaps a meteorite, appears useless, but but possesses some odd gravitational force that prevents its riddance. A dubious soul once said, Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the godhead will grant you strength. Okay, so 
Ancient Shrouded Church. There's a few churches. I Have I been to this church it's talking about? Ancient Shrouded Church. It's not... Wait. I, I guess that's the question. Have I been to this church already? Okay. Uh, let's see. We just beat the... I don't think so. Okay, so I'm not there yet. Hopefully. Because there's... Uh, the wolf girl that I just fought, and if I go to the right, I end up fighting a guy with an electric mace, so I don't think that's correct. There was the... The town with... Uh, the old town with the guy on the turret. Eventually, when I got past the turret, uh, the, I ended up, I think, at a church where I got... Near where I got the first chalice. It was like a wolf boss there. I did beat that one. I don't know if that's the church it's talking about. There's a dozen with lightning mace. Oh, okay, so it was the electric mace one. Okay. Wait, what am I hearing? Oh, hi there! I don't like it down here. You gonna come alive? Nope. Okay, where do I want to go? Well, this is poison. Okay, I'm going to have to play it carefully. Okay, that was poison. Okay, so it's basically where the lightning mace guy is. Okay. What the? Oh, great. Tapeworms. Just what we need. You're still alive? Okay. not have a giant axe. It's still kind of the same. There we go. So yeah, I could go back there. If, uh, back to the electric mace, dude. There's a cave there. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Do I still have... Yes. Okay, I can climb the ladder. What's over here? Just another entrance. Okay. I'll climb the ladder, see what's up here. Hey, Monzai, how's it going? Yeah, it has been a bit. Uh, it's been a little while. Playing Dark Souls. If I remember correctly, you haven't gotten to continue your Battle Network playthroughs, have you? Oh my god. This is a long ladder. Th that's a pretty long ladder. If I caught it in time, it would have been perfect for Me Metal Gear Solid 3. I didn't realize it was a very long ladder. What's up there? Can I go in the first person? I can't tell. You got the, uh, starting up again today. Very nice. You got the new computer. So yeah, remind me, Monzai, uh, what do you got to work on in Battle Network 4? Okay. 
Okay, we're back in one of the towns. Have I been to this section? I, I'm not sure. Wait, is this... Is this the very beginning? It is the very beginning. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. By the way, Hot Corn Dog, this is where I was talking about. Yeah, it's the same enemy type. There we go. Easy. Uh, I was once a streamer and speedrunner. Jesus here's toast who made a whole room uh, cheer for climbing that ladder oh really yeah your Japanese is poetry so it's hard for me to understand it with us there's uh, still need almost all the navvies I think they're all doable I came up with plans for windman and roll who are gonna be the most tricky well with both of them you cannot use the the sand to lock them in place to use tornado on them, so you're gonna have to definitely come up with different strats. Okay, so now that we're at the beginning, let's see. There was another section in here, wasn't there? I didn't think we'd loop around. Yes, yeah, here's another gate. What's over here? They have float shoes, but not air shoes. So, one of them means they could go over uh, empty floor tiles, but the other, uh, the other one is like they can't avoid like poison. Sorry, attacking way too soon. Oh my god, this must be a really strong area. This guy's taking this many hits to die. I must be underpowered. Like, that guy was easy, but if there's more, I don't know if I can really take care of it. Can't climb through the well. This isn't Dragon Quest. So get in two and crack out three might do the trick. That probably would be something, yeah. Just gotta put, gotta hit them in the shins, yeah. Bust their kneecaps. They can't do anything about it. Okay, so this is basically just a dead end. Uh, I have decent amount of exp. I'm going to a lantern. I don't want to cross through that poison swamp anyway. I could just go to the one that's up the ladder. Attack plus three should be enough. Yeah, and if you combine it with, like, pet hockey, pet hockey three, that will be enough. They weren't that bad. You just gotta line them up. I guess that works too, yeah. The trap in the back row. I guess that's a way to use a uh, tornado. Okay, what can I level up? Just one thing? Yes. So, it's been a while since I did that. No matter what, I'm boosting defense. Poison resistance. That will help in the area. And I could get a ton more HP. Uh, I don't know. Just I'm just kind of picking one. Let me see if I can uh, boost a weapon. 
That'll help. What's up, Blake? Level five. I can't make it level six just yet, but soon. Oh wait, do I have any new blood gems? Okay, hold on. Start at the top. What was that one? Thrust attack up? No, we're good. I think everything else is kind of weaker. Yeah, that's okay. Kirkhammer. Um, technically the hammer is blunt damage, but I don't think that trade-off's worth it. Or the thrust damage, for that matter. I also never use the base sword. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. An attack boost by 9%. We're going that. Oh, that's nice. Who here has played Pokemon Masters? <laughs> I mean, I haven't booted it up in a while, but I've tried it. Just use red. Is just use red a strategy? Probably not. I don't know, Monzai. You probably play it way more than I do. Is using red. Just a, a strategy in and of itself. I would say no, but maybe I'm wrong. I haven't played it in a while. Is there anything new? No, not really. I'm just gonna... How many do I have in storage? Okay, only 20. That works. Used to back in the day, but nowadays certainly outclassed by the arc suits. Hmm. So, Hot Corn Dog, it sounds like you're too late. Okay, there's the Forbidden Woods. I'm going to check the Electric Mace guy, so I want to go Grand Cathedral. So I read something on Instagram about, about it, and I want to know if it's true. Good to see that it has some truth. It, so it sounds like it used to back in the day. Yeah, I'm going to check this Electric Mace guy again. Maybe I could take him on. I've boosted my stats a little bit. I should be okay. Red plus Pikachu was a big thing. Still amazing. Combined with blue plus Zapdos. Uh, I'm assuming you mean when they're on the same team. Uh, how is it really good? Oh, does one of them have, like, a boost electric type attack sort of thing? So it pairs well with each other. And here's the electric mace guy. Ugh. There's another guy with a gun. Great. I'm trying to get the lock on to change. I didn't even know there were two enemies here. Get out of there. Okay. They're still tough to beat. Blue Zapdos gives all enemies two electric rebuffs or debuffs I'm, I'm assuming what you mean you have red and charizard 
I was doing that once a time when it came out of your highest. Max amount to the best of your ability and then quit the game. Right. Makes sense. Red plus Charizard was amazing back then. Super powerful moves. Fire type. Could self-max his own special attack and crit rate with no help from support. But I'm guessing there's better stuff nowadays. Or more ways to counter that strat. Fire types are super oversaturated. Okay. I mean, to be fair, fire type moves in Pokemon take out the most, uh, uh, the most different types in the series, I believe. I like guess also they would often counter that by making the sync move weaker. Okay. So I think I got too close to the young guy. So if I stay near here, I can avoid the aggro. Back up. Got you. We got bolt paper. There's another one left. And you are over there you are. Kind of weird I could just dodge into the bullets. Yeah, somehow that spread shot never hit me. There we go. Wasn't as bad when I dealt with them one at a time. We got bullets. Okay. Right, there's a lantern here. I mean, there's different grunts there. I gotta keep going. That might have been a repeat. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> Invincibility frames, Jack. That's what the. That's why you can dodge bullets. Where's your source on that, Senator? The source is I made it the. Oh, fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, Melgar Rising. Fun game. The memes, Jack. There's a loop around here. Oh, another bag man. Before I fight the bag man, so more to like this section. Any notes? No, I'm not gonna bother. That's wait. Hold on. Here we go, we go around. And dead end, okay. Wasn't sure. I 
edge of the cliff. Nothing here. Oh, there's a way down. Okay. And nothing here at the well. Okay. Let's go down. Let's see what's down here. And you dropped Bloodstone Shard, okay. So I could turn around and go to the Bagman. Uh. Why? There's someone shooting at me. I'm gonna turn around and head back up because that's BS. Wrong way? Wrong way. Oh my god, come on. I didn't realize he was that close. How do I even get to him? How do I even get to him? Here, wait a minute. Um. It's currently another Ingo and Emmett event in Masters, giving them their third outfit. Never knew the characters were so popular. I don't even know if they're popular. I think it's just more of Game Freak has like Gen 5 in mind. Like it, they have it in their heads right now, so they're just kind of doing promotion, like cross promotions with it. Okay, there's an item up there. I think I can go and grab that. Drop down from up here. Uh, yes, the side. Okay, money. That's fine. Okay, there's a crow up there. Don't know if there's any other reason to go up there. I guess I'll fight the bag man. Ouch. I mean, it deals okay damage. Get out of there. Get out of there. I am not in the mood. Some shard. Okay. Let's see what's up here. And up here is nothing. Wow. Just a way to get here. Okay, that I guess that was kind of worth it. Ah, that's how you get up to these guys. That's going to help. Okay, there's one more. What did you have? Bullets. Okay. One more guy. I don't see anyone else. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Gonna be careful. Twin blood. Miles, there's another guy here. Where is he? He's here somewhere. 
Okay, he's not here. Okay, uh, going back to bonsai. I love it. I learned Japanese through it. My Japanese listening skills are quite good. Speak it too. My vocab is reading is awful. The kanji is too much. Yeah, honestly, kanji is the worst. I took some Japanese back in high school. I I don't I uh I don't remember too much. I would need a refresher in Japanese, but kanji was always an issue. Okay, what do we got down here? I don't see anything. Looks like a fire needs to go there or something. Uh, excuse, excuse me? Okay. So I guess obviously that was supposed to happen. Lecture building. Anything around here? Okay. We have access to a lantern. Uh, downtown and Coco Rico are the obvious ones. I felt uncomfortable watching them. As a way for obvious reasons. I don't know what you're referencing, Monzai. So, yeah. The good old instant kill. Yeah, no. There he is, your job, hu job hunting to get back. Might have to. Get a job in the States for experience, so someone will hire you in Japan. Yeah, I remember you mentioned that. I was gonna say it. You find it must be such a pleasure. You're in my debt, you know. You're nigh on a beast of the field, but here you are, treading a measure with the gods. <laughs> you have something else to say? I mean, I, I I probably will, but anything else? Okay, you're saying the same thing. Okay, let's see. What's over here? Dead end? Dead end. Okay. Is there a door right here? There is. Does not open from this side. Okay, I can open this door. What do we got? Not finding any enemies right now. I'm just I just know there's gonna be one that's gonna just pop out of the corner. Or you know, just drop from above. That works too. drop from the ceiling no I don't see another one but that doesn't mean he didn't come from the ceiling lecture theater theater key okay making progress student uniform student trousers new disguise maybe what are the stats looking like awful Unless you really want to go for a magic build. Okay, I 
I think I just circled around. Back into the main entrance. There must be another door here somewhere. No, nothing. I wonder if... Oh, did it say it was locked or locked from the other side? Don't remember, but this is a different door. Okay, lecture key. Got it. Oh! Well, hi there. Oh, there's a lot of you. Actually, I get a couple of you with that. Are they? Oh, they must be weak to fire. No, I need a heal. I'm going to need to buy more of these. Oh, I'm, I'm out. Okay. Is that it? No, there's a couple more. Just a couple more left. Okay, got the loot room uh, cleared out. What do we got? Look, silver bullets. Bullets, okay. Hold on. Taught there before, taught English. Wasn't overworked, but they do. They did do the soft firing thing. Where they gave you no work. Oh, I think I heard about that. Which wasn't good because you were, you were paid by the lesson. Ouch. Saw a show where they tried to do a Monsai comedy show, but in English it wasn't that great. Here we go. Is good, even though immediately, immediately you're a big fan of Arino, which is part of that duo. So, Game Center CX more punk boo-boo event. Hmm. Yeah, I heard about the whole soft firing thing. Be like, oh, we're just not going to give you any work. Like, at all. And is it one of those things where you just do no work until you decide to quit? Or is it just eventually they'll fire you because they're like, oh, we don't need you to do anything, so... And you haven't done anything in the last couple weeks, so... Yeah, you're not needed. Is that how it is? What was that? Okay, probably go through the main door. Stop scheduling so I quit. Okay. Because if they're not giving you work, and in this case you were getting paid by the lesson, it, you basically have to quit just to, you know, make money and work somewhere else. Can't fire you unless they can prove an active loss to their company due to you. So it's just a way to get you to quit. It's kind of scummy that they could get, just get away with that. Where am I? Okay. Dead end. Rings and sister bell. I didn't hear a bell. Knowledge. I got a bunch of those. One second. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. Alright. 
Is there a lantern nearby? If there is, I'm not seeing it. Let me go up this way very quick. Can I even get up, go up this way? Nope, not really? Okay. If you have a star runner, they'll basically ask you to come in, do nothing. You'll get paid, but you just have to just come in. Which might sound good to someone, but it's honestly soul-sucking. And I'm guessing you can't do anything else in that situation. Like, oh, if they're not going to have me do anything, I'm just going to, like, you know, draw or something. But that would be a obvious sign of you're not doing your job. So that's a fireable offense, I think. You could be home outside enjoying life. Inside, you're just watching a clock. That's your day. Yeah. And, again, like... It's like, oh, if they're not going to have me do anything, I'm just going to, like, spend some time, I don't know, play on the Switch or play on my phone. But no, they'll probably catch you doing that be like, hey, get back to work. So, yeah, like you said, just, uh... Uh, uh, just a way to get you to quit. Well, I got grabbed. Well, at least that one didn't kill me. There it is. You gotta go to work tomorrow? Ah, oh, that sucks. They do this because they like to brag about not having any firings. Yeah, it, it probably makes it look good on, like, I don't know if it's a company resume or something, but it looks good. Oh, these beasts be getting freaky. They do be getting freaky. Ah, huh. how did I not see that? I mean, it happens more than you think. I don't know how I missed that lantern, but honestly, it's probably not the first time I've done something like that. Actually, let's take a look at the madman's knowledge over here. See if I can buy anything. Yeah, right. I thought I... Anyway, don't need that. I really don't need any of this. Can I even upgrade? I can upgrade the Kirk Hammer. Haven't been using, but I can upgrade it. Never mind, we need another one. Wrong button. It's just a pebble, I don't care. Oh, I probably should repair weapons. There we go. Got that fixed. Alright, I guess I could head back. Oh, right. I should grab... Maltovs. Oh, I only have, like, five? I didn't realize I had so little. I think you know what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised how open this game is. Kind of gives you plenty of options to choose from in terms of where do you want to explore. I could explore the forest. There's that old town, Bagman. Yeah, there, there's plenty of places. 
There we go. I'm just going to restock on items with this. There we go. Play Dark Souls 2. Nothing I've played will prepare me for that game. Well, I got... I would play at least Dark Souls 1 before going going to that, at the very least. I could buy 97. That'll cover it all. That's a good use of that. Okay. No, not here. That's the Forbidden Woods. Is it this way? No. Oh, this one. Nightmare Frontier. Yeah, I think we can explore that one. The enemies weren't that bad. They weren't that strong. I just got ganged up by two giant wolf things. Sneak up on this one. Still didn't hear a bell this time. I guess that's why it has to uh, prompt, uh, put the prompt up. Okay, there's that wolf, but there was another one somewhere. It snuck up on me. That's a lot of fire. One more. There we go. I don't think I want to go into that water. That's a weird uh, Cthulhu monster down there. Should have caught that. Uh, of course. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't heal. I think I tried. I tried attacking, but he stopped me. I don't know. Maybe I dodge roll one too many times. That's always a possibility. Yeah, there's like a window where if you've already pressed the button again, it'll take. Yeah, in that case, I, I did a, a dodge and then I quickly pressed attack and dodge again. And it took the first one. It prioritizes attacking. Is there... Right. There's that pathway I haven't checked yet. Excuse me, since when can you shoot out electricity? And also the one guy, the one enemy is not here anymore. Gotta head out, streaming like nine minutes. Oh, good luck on your stream, Monzai. Actually, hold on. Let me go ahead and, can I, can I set this up? No, I don't have a command. It is...
Shout out. Yeah, give me a sec. One. I keep forgetting I can even do this. Yeah, there we go. There's a shout out, Monzai. If you're interested in Battle Network, F Mega Man Battle Network Four, that's what he's playing right now. I'm percenting it, if I remember correctly. Very thorough on the hundred percent as well. You keep trying to evade me. <laughs> it's not working. Oh no, that's also part of the reason I don't like playing online. I, I it's one of those aspects, if I remember correctly, that someone could just pop in your world and then just straight up kill you and ruin your day. I don't know what this lantern's for. Have a good one, Monzai. You too. Good luck on your Battle Network stream. Hopefully there's no tech issues. Well, hi there. Oh, great, there's two of you. Not what I needed. Come on. I need a heal, come on. Perfect. Okay, good, got rid of one. Oh, that sucks. Keep getting PvP. I didn't even know this game had specific PvP sections. I thought it was just invading someone else's world. Unless that is just PvP. Well, that sucked. Might try that uh, going the other direction. Was way better to just sneak up. Yeah, I'll take that full damage. Well, uh, I don't even know if I could survive that fall. Probably not. So let's see, is there... I could probably fall down the side. Let me try. Nope. Kind of just launched me somewhere else. But it looks like this is basically just an elevator. So I probably need to find a way around, take the elevator up, and then I could permanently have access a, access a way down there. Guess I'll save it for later. Elden Ring has done irreversible damage to the FromSoft community and its habit of dying to fall damage. Fall damage is the worst, honestly. I I don't really like fall damage in basically any game. Most, although most games that have fall, ga fall damage, I tolerate, I think. But there are some games where it's like, I really would rather not it be here. Gravity is the true, the true enemy. And gravity is fate, you know.
as the words of Dio Brando. Okay, I know there are the two guys around here. Don't worry, if I go around the sides and hug the wall, they can't see me. Oh, there, there's one. Oh, just what I need. Uh, come on. Die. Uh, heal, heal. what I need two enemies at once got rid of one heal 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 oh, that was close that was close pulsating gemstone Uh, generous with fall damage. You are allowed to fall a good distance before breaking your legs. I would say Bloodborne is in second base. Really? Other games are really are more harsh. That's insane because I already feel like it's a little harsh here and there. Yeah, I don't think I want to fight Cthulhu monsters. It's over here. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you. Sound Sinister Bell has ceased. Oh, okay. That's where it was coming from. Good to know. Like, I took a small amount of fall damage there. I feel like that's not necessary. It wasn't that big of a drop. I mean, I get it. It's kind of dumb. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not wanting to deal with that. He's gonna run out of rocks eventually. So that's how it, that's how the Earth works. Yeah, no, we're done. None of that. another one yeah I know he's not gonna run out of rocks somehow he keeps uh, digging more out of the ground I don't know how he does it you see that's the problem with having the high ground there's another one wasn't there Ah, uh, there, uh, wait. Someone else was throwing rocks. There was another one. Great, I feel like I made, like, no progress. I could try to increase my damage... Level, do a little bit of level grinding. Try to get some extra defense. Gotta make sure to get rid of this one first. This one. Perfect. All right. 
So I could try ignoring them again. And I don't think... I think the bell lady's gone. I think that's a permanent kill. I'm just gonna drop down. Oh, that's dumb. No more invasions? Oh, no. Whatever shall I do? However will I get by with no one invading my my world? Man, it's a good thing I'm able to make progress now that no one is going to invade my world and stop me. Because that's clearly my issue right now. <laughs> I'm thinking of maybe just going through to a different area. Or what area would I even attempt going to? Hmm. Honestly, other areas, like, have the bagmen, and they're really strong, and I don't really know of a good way to deal with them yet. Because the old town has some bagmen. The, the place I got sent to has them. There is the forest, which I can go back there. Go back here. I think I can ignore that little... This guy. Yeah, he's not that much of a threat. He's just kind of minding his own business. play that carefully just smacks me okay we got that one up there and there's I think one up there or something let's try going this up this way someone else throwing rocks nearby. Ah, there we go. There's one. Ah, that one's still throwing rocks at me. You gotta head out, Pikachu? Yeah, have a good rest of your day. Right now, I'm just kind of doing the thing. Exploring. Making some progress here and there. That's just how it works. Oh no, I'm poisoned. Am I poisoned? I think I got close to being poisoned. Oh, he disappeared. Okay. That's fine. Okay, was there more over here? Yep, we got a bridge. More like a shortcut. Oh, I, s I think I see where I am. Or do I? I don't know. 
Either way, I opened that up. That's a good thing. Wait a minute, did I get turned around? I actually don't remember. What the? There's a bunch of coins here. Okay, who's in? Who's gonna sneak up? Sneak up on me? That would probably just end up killing me. But yet, yeah, it's a cutscene, so I survive. So what about the Godhead? Okay. Oh, I'm in the poison swamp. Great. Just what I need. Wait, what? Oh, okay, fine. Let's get through to the other side. Great, more Cthulhu monsters, just what I need. Have I tried not swimming in the poison? Gee, if I wasn't, you know, sent, uh, shoved down here by an a-hole, I probably wouldn't be in the poison. Oh, just what we need, a brain monster. There, I'm out of the poison. I gotta get rid of you. Wait, no, how did I die? I tried healing, but I instantly died. What happened there? Did I wait too long before healing? Or is it a trap where if you try to heal, it instantly kills you? I don't know. I'm going to restock on potions. Hmm, where do I want to go? I'm already having trouble with the forest. I'm getting swarmed by too many things. I did make it farther by going a different route. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do right now. The game felt silly? It probably did. I'm just gonna spend all of this on potions. I don't think I could buy anything else anyway. A hundred and fifty-four. That's more than enough, right? Well, if I always need more, I could just do that again. If you don't mind, I'm going to step away for a minute. Probably let my dog out, take care of a couple things. Be back in a few minutes.
Okay. I am back. Again, let my dog do went ahead with uh let Molly out. Took a couple took care of a couple things while doing that. All right. Let's get back to this. Now, where to go? I could go back to the forest. Try that a little bit more. There's the forest. There's a uh, hippo game gall. Nightmare frontier. Forbidden woods. And then the other spot is going to that old town, which I have to do the platforming. Let's go to the Forbidden Woods and explore that a little bit more. I don't know what happened, just the game felt silly. Just as silly as how it just got rid of the turret guy for no reason. gonna try the forest a little bit more yeah I still don't know how that turret guy died he's just like well I killed him a few times I don't need to I, I'm good and then he just disappeared never to be seen again I didn't even win and you know what he won in the long run. He got rid of the satisfaction of me taking of taking him down myself. Still covered in oil, aren't I? Guess I think that's what that symbol means. Gotta be careful. Okay. Yeah, I'm dealing. I think I'm dealing more damage, or at least it kind of feels like that. But I don't remember boosting my strength. Right. Uh, let's try somewhere else. Let's cross through here. Get rid of this guy. Good, more potions here let me take this bath now I went that way and that's how I got the gravity stone and then I eventually eventually found a ladder which led to basically the beginning section of the game Why does this section make me think of Resident Evil 4? I haven't played that game. But it makes me think of like the opening village. This guy was buying his own business, but you know he was going to attack me anyway. I thought I could burst through the door. Because residents here are indeed evil. Exactly. Uh, no, stop, stop, 
stop. Oh my god. Yeah. It's when I'm caught in that combo. I think if I dodge roll, I need to dodge roll past him. Like towards him and past him. I think that's the only way out of it. Try backing up, but it didn't work. Gonna have to just try that again. Yeah, eventually we're going to find a way to open that and create a shortcut. Wait a minute. Is there a pathway back there? Or was that a dead end? I forget. Hold on. It was probably just a dead end. I didn't even see these guys. Yeah, just kind of a dead end. Yeah, I thought I could sneak around the side. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I can make it around that and get onto the building. But nope, that's just a hard, invisible wall. It's just like, oh, you're trying to get creative, are you? Maybe you should have made the tree a little bit bigger or something. Make it more obvious that I couldn't just walk around that tree. Good to know that the freaking raven has my stuff. It's not like that I have much anyway. Uh, over here. Yeah, not much. Can't really go back and... Level. I can't really level up with this. Most of the time you drop potions. Or at least it's like a 50-50. I didn't realize how much health I lost. Throwing oil at me. It's very rude, sir. So, did he step into the fire himself? And ended himself? I think that's what just happened. I I did nothing towards him. That was all on his own. I was just in his presence. Probably a potion. Yeah. Just restock. I can make it through here. It will take a bit, but I can make it through. Oh, you're actually dead. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell which ones are actually dead and the ones that are just kind of sleeping. Oh, 
Oh, there was an item drop in here. Okay, I don't really need the bullets. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him. Because you're the biggest annoyance here. There we go. That works out. Perfect. Come on, let me grab... There we go. He felt fear as I arrived. He turns around. I'm right there charging the attack. And that's when he knew. He effed up. Silver bullets. Anything in here? No, not really. This is the back way. I am not... Oh, wait. Inside this building, we get... What do we get? Beast blood pellet. Right, I haven't used those. If I want to be a glass cannon. I haven't, t like I said, I haven't tested them out yet. But I, I just don't know if I really need the trade off right now. It's not that great of a game. Okay, let's see. I didn't go down this way yet. Oh, wait, no, I did go here. I got set on fire. That's what happened. Is there another spot? Can I go this way? Does not open from the side. So what this probably is, is when I get past like that little swamp area, I could just open that door, and then next time, I don't have to cross through the swamp. I didn't even see that was an item drop. Potions. Great. And of course, we got the dire ravens in the pit. You know. Whenever they uh, take out an intruder, they feed it to the dire ravens. Because they're just ravens, but dire. Well, something died by friendly fire. Literally. He's just going to keep doing that. I can't walk onto him. There's another swamp thing. I think I just need to keep moving. I, I can't manually aim, can I? And he's not going to run out. All right, let's move. Just keep moving. If I take this path, ooh, power up material. And just as I thought. Now I can skip past that swamp section next time. dead end let's go this way it's good that I moved like an inch in front of me so I didn't get shot
Wait, what? Do you have something? Bullets? Okay, I don't need bullets. I barely use my gun. But, you know, it's nice to have a, a giant stock of it. Hey, look! A cannon! Just what we need. So you're saying I could carry this cannon? Probably not this one, but... But they know I'm here. Bullets. This is just a dead end. Okay. Make it to each house. Dodge the cannons. I don't think there's anything in this building. I'm just expecting the cannon to just burst through the building and destroy it. No, they're not going to do that. There's another pathway over here. That leads to nothing. Okay. Okay, he can't see me. Except that he can, apparently. Yeah, you know what? We're done with that. Can I use the cannon? Yes, I can use the cannon now. Anyone in here? Yes. Potions. Okay. Ah, you. Okay. Your fate has been sealed. A vial. These pellets. Alright. I can move on. Oh, wait, are there two paths? Or is this just a dead end? This is just an item. Weapon upgrade material. Okay, made progress. Still no lantern, but we made progress. Okay. Doesn't notice me yet. Is there a staircase on this side? Okay, I can't go up. I could go downstairs. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Downstairs it is. Where'd he go? I know he's here. There he is. Okay. Seems like it's only the one guy. But could be wrong. This is Resident Evil 4! <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with the giant snake Medusa thing. Parasite. This is Resident Evil 4. That man's knowledge. I was just making a joke earlier, but now there's more evidence. <laughs> Is Bloodborne secret secretly Resident Evil 4 a game theory? Fell off the balcony. It's a hidden area. 
What? Really? Hold on. I think I know which balcony you're talking about. It's not this. I know that. I need to head back up there. Is there a staircase? Right there. There we go. So you're saying this is a hidden area. If I fall off. Oh, I see. I see. Kind of wish I went to find a lantern first, but I guess so. Perfect. Clearly, I wouldn't have thought this because I went to the balcony and then just turned around. I probably wouldn't have thought to come back here. Okay. Maybe I need to go this way. Oh, don't tell me I need to do platforming. Oh, that might actually be the case. Hold on, I'm gonna go around and take a look. There's a ladder. Yeah, there better be a ladder. Oh, there's a ladder back up. This is a different section. Yeah, again, this is just a platforming section. You know, don't fall off or you die. What do we got? Poison knives? Okay. That's how we get up here. Okay. Whoa! Blimey. That scared me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars. You're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Which one? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots. And then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then... Would you know of any safe havens? Gee, it's very obvious that he's just going to murder everyone. He, yeah. Send it. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Well, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. He ruined an ending? He can ruin endings? Don't tell me the requirements to endings. Please don't. I'll keep... Uh, we'll save that for probably after I beat the game. And that way I too get misty bottles. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, so... It is obvious that he's just going to murder everyone. But if I was never told about the clinic, I don't know what I would have done. And even if I had the clinic, and if I wasn't told that the clinic's just a way to basically just murder other people, I don't know how I would have what I would have done. Maybe I would have put two and two together if I had the information about the clinic and what that does. Because it was kind of obvious that he was just going to probably murder everyone. I mean... It, it... Oh, that's how you move through the ladders faster. Okay. I didn't know that was even possible. He doesn't, he just makes it hard. Made a mistake and a lot of people died. I mean, I can easily see why uh, 
that that would happen. Oh, if I want to go back in, I'm going to have to go back up that way and then just fall. Okay, so there's that plat platform right there. And that one. Oh, okay. There's an item there. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Was I just dumb? Oh, I couldn't really see that. Okay, it was very easy to for me to miss that item right there from here. It's a good thing I looked around. There's a cannon. Can I equip it? I need way more strength and some more skill. But at least I have it. Okay, I need to drop down a little bit more. That's a safe spot right there. And now we're back at the entrance. Okay. Wait, am I back at the entrance? Yeah, this is a ledge. Okay, now to explore around a little bit more. I could go that way. What's down here? Not operatable. Gotta probably click, uh, stand on the elevator first. So I guess the next big goal is to power up strength and skill. But how much strength do I have? I have to level up like six more times. Skill, like two more. But I can prioritize that. Well, hi there. Well, at least I can one-shot ya. And he had the eye ground. You know, that's how you know, like, I was doing good. He even had the advantage. Okay. What's up here? Is this the elevator? Looks like it. With the cannon, maybe I will use bullets. We'll see. I mean, I, it depends on how much damage it will do. Although you did say I can power it up. Well, hi there. Ah, a new face, Sonny. And an accomplished hunter. League of what? Members of the League cleanse the streets of all that filth and spread them out during the hunt. Like any half decent hunter ought to. So, what's the difference between a hunter and the League? Wretched beasts, freakish slugs, and now doctors. Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? I mean. It doesn't sound like there's. I'm, I would be doing anything different than what I'm doing now. Bloodborne uses more shortcuts than lanterns. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes me feel like I need to find another lantern, though, soon. I, I don't. I don't see any difference from what I'm doing now versus joining the League. Ah, there's the red flags. In cooperation with your fellows, your league confederates. 
There's the red flags. <coughs> Let me open this up. Oh, we're finally back here. Okay, I was wondering how to get over here. Uh, let's go ahead and level up. Yeah, either, it's either find a new lantern or find the shortcut back to an existing lantern. <coughs> Before I level up, let's take care of this first. Level six. And I need bloodstone chunks. Okay. And I need uh, like six more for this. I think I got new gems. Oh, I can fill the last one. So let's see. Fire attack up. Bolt attack up. Skill scaling. H Ooh, I get an HP regen? Oh, that's nice. Okay, so quick question with these it's not adding a fire or a bolt elemental to the saw blade it just means if i throw the cocktail it'll deal more damage right and i don't have an electric weapon this is just a regen i'm throwing that in anything new it's better. I should probably sell some of these. Just so it cl uh, clears out the clutter. More blunt, more thrust. Don't need that. Okay, we're good. So I get a constant regen. That's very nice. But I'm guessing once I swap weapons, yep. Okay. I'm just realizing how the saw blade setup is set up really well. It does, and it add it adds the element. Okay, I wasn't sure, but that's good to know. It adds the element. However, this setup is currently really good. Because I currently have a attack modifier if I'm at full HP with this weapon. And now I have a regen. <laughs> it's probably not that great of a regen, but it's there. Very well, let me stop. Okay. I need two of these. Oh, I don't need much to level up. I don't need much to level up again. Hold on. I'm mean, just going to kill like a couple enemies right at the bridge and then go back and level up my strength. But good to know I could just add the fire or the electric element. That's something to consider. Although with the saw blade, it wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Because the saw blade is already good against beasts. And beasts are weak to fire. So it adds up pretty well. Yeah, that stacks rather well. Okay, I'm going to go back and level up. Yeah, that sounds like it stacks well. What do you mean, don't be fooled? Welcome home. What is it you want? I need my stats. Alright. There, get my strength boost. 
So like I saw with the cannon, yeah, we need 30 strength. So I'm going to need five more levels. And that's only boosting strength. I can only buy one, sure. All right, time to go back through. Oh, I didn't even catch what how much time we have. If you give it three fire blood gems, does it switch from scaling to skill to arcane? Jefferson, what would that what would that go? Or would it still be both? Uh I probably sh shouldn't spend too much time that much more time I just now caught a glimpse caught a glimpse at what time it is yeah if you put on if you stack fire no but there are gems that do change the scaling okay so if I were to stack fire onto the saw blade and I fight a beast is it like, uh, the bonus beast damage plus the fire damage equals the total amount of damage to a beast. I don't trust this thing. Listen, I'm not dealing with Orochi right now. I don't want to deal with that. Get out of here. It's slow enough. You see, these uh, the Orochis just think, hey, if we group together, we'll be stronger. But what they didn't realize is they're gr grouped together, so they're a lot slower. They changed. They uh, they changed power for speed or speed for power. Whatever. Well, hi there. Are you gonna drop anything? Nope. Okay. Anything else around here? So I guess while I'm walking around, I could just have the saw blade equipped and just get passive heals when I can. It's very slow. It's not bad to have. Anything this way? Right, it's not something... This passive buff is not something I should... Wait, hold on. 514. Yeah, it's way too slow and it's only 1 HP. So it's not something I should just stand around and wait for my HP to max out again. But if I'm walking around and there's like no enemies, I might as well get HP back. It's just the annoying part of switch, switching back to the hammer like this. It takes a few steps. You know what? Wait, I want to check something. Okay, hold on. So there's a lot of cooldown right there. I think you could cut the cooldown a bit by swapping your weapon. Maybe. I'm not sure. But maybe I could just also 
get out of the cooldown by dodge rolling. So maybe nothing changes. I missed. Yeah, maybe just dodge rolling is fine. Get out of here. Okay, we got another, another one over there. How do I get over there? Oh, just go around like this. That works. I see a snake back there, but I need to get rid of this guy first. And I'm dead. What happened? Oh, I got hit like three times somewhere in there. And somewhere in there, I just got hit three times. Makes sense. I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back to Hunter's Dream. Yeah, I think we'll call him. Should have sneaked up on him. Snakes are blind. Yeah, I guess if I was a little bit slower, I could have done that. I do think this is a good place to call it, though. If I kept going, I might lose track of time. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm playing Bloodborne Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Kingdom Hearts 2 Wednesdays at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at ScottBot64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Next Monday, probably explore more of the forest. That seems like the that seems like a, a, a good area to explore. Seem, doesn't seem that bad. Anyway, uh, have a good day. Later. Yeah, see you next week.